All right. Sorry, guys, if it's been uh, waiting there for a minute. Told y'all I would do my best to get another live stream going for you guys tonight, so I am doing that. Even though the big update just came out for Escape from Tarkov. More or less, I may be doing it tonight. That way I can play a little bit of Tarkov tomorrow. But either way, we are back once again. With what looks to be a foggy night. Foggy morning, I hope. Yeah, 8, 8.30, okay. So let's go and do some tabbing. Get back over to the lumber yard here. All right, so what are we at? We are out getting some trees. Do that. Hopefully my controls aren't too boogered up here. Okay. stream is going it looked like it paused there for a second so to make sure oh my chunk of wood fell out of there shoot see where it used to be they're moving Things are moving all around me. There's a pile. Ooh. All right. Let's take these tops here that, that we were done processing up before we touched off last time. Not too much on the uh, conversation tonight, at least. I really, if I would have known that I would have had a little bit of time tonight to uh, do a mod, or a mod, do a uh, another stream, I definitely would have uh, held some conversations that way. It didn't seem all jumbled the uh, in the beginning of that one, but usually there's a little bit of a gap between my uh, my videos and whatnot so I try to make sure that I cover as many bases as I can either in the beginning or throughout that way uh, you guys are up to date or general nation more or less Gonna have to come over here with a skitter, I'm thinking. I've been doing some mod testing. I had uh, I've seen a nice looking excavator. It was actually a, a cat excavator. One of the one of the fellas JDL that I uh, been talking with quite a well there I just push it through the map perfect well, I can do that yeah one of the guys I was talking with um, I had noticed that uh, he had an excavator with a claw on it actually that's what I meant to get on here and test tonight but I haven't had the freaking time. Kind of scared if it's the uh, the excavator that I'm thinking it is, but it may not be. I'm hoping it's not, just because I've I've always kind of had a problem with it. Um, not with the excavator itself, but the claw attachment. Like I said, I don't know if it's the one I'm thinking of or not, so.
trying to get them all together and it freaking spread on me. So, go over, just do a quick peek, the one, one of the ones that I'm contemplating on, it's kind of small, it's 325, but it's like an excavator platform with a uh, log loader. Heavier cab, I guess. There. It was a Volvo picture. New. Haven't done any testing on these. Don't know them yet. Uh, you know what we'll, we'll grab it real quick and then uh, we'll just do a demo of it like it or not um, while we do that I need to make an awful mess because by accident I don't know which one's better I like custom modding stuff though Lindenberg stuff is all right. I just don't know. I've got so many of these trailers. I know this is Johnny's pack, and I've been running that forever. Yeah, that's the one I had, I believe, because that was a that was a heavy trailer. Where these won't be right. Booster here. Get this. I don't know if the booster is going to be by one of each real quick. Pop over to the Pete. Oh wait, okay. Not the Pete, the Kenworth, my bad. Right here. lights for the foggy morning cool dead co what's up man how you been have hey, been a long time huh yeah yeah that everything's the same though um Couple new mod, well, a bunch of new mods, but uh, you know they've been improving. Really, normally my winter, I usually have some time to get on and stream, but this winter, man, has just been absolutely ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Had over 40 callouts, and the only time that I can 
possibly get a call out is on the weekend. So that tells you just how many weekends I had to work in a row. Well, basically it was like six, seven months worth of weekends. Um, sick and such. Yeah, absolutely, man. Fish Mike, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Winter been bad, just not. See, we got pummeled this year with snow. Every single day, actually, it's been snowing. We actually uh, stopped being on snow and ice last Friday, and usually we go to our uh, regular shop, which would be our home, home base, whatever you want to call it, base. It's one shop. All the uh, outside shops go in for the summer. We've actually been. Uh, We've been at a remote location for the past week because the snow hasn't stopped. We're normally in the past few winters. They've actually ended it April, you know, 6th, April 7th. But uh, it's, it's been, been an absolute crazy winter, man. But next week's looking like it's going to get into the 60s for us. So, of course, today it was 47 degrees, but it snowed just about all day. So, it, it's just been weird. Still got snow on the ground, we'll put it that way. Oh yeah, winter been bad. Doing okay? Yeah. Go glitchy sidewalks. I forgot we had the other Kenworth over here. We probably could have used that. I don't think we're going to... Well, yeah, that excavator shouldn't be all that heavy. in the morning is no good for sure for sure complete trailers I didn't realize that this has actually got the extensions oh these are the extensions okay 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 Yeah, this is right here. I did it was purely by mistake what the heck are we going, we're going on here hello hello garage Maybe it doesn't like a mod that I just bombed and guessing so I bought that I didn't mean to didn't even it's not even wanting to really sell right now it was just hopping around the floor All these trees. Or didn't the trailer sell? That's kind of eerie. Plant many trees on this map, so. It's the customs then. I don't know. Never had a problem with this stuff though, so.
I have a crap ton of mods on here. James Lucas, thank you for the subscription, brother man. I appreciate that. All right, now let's try this. and rear what this does okay so this is the one I don't need then right yeah okay up this one because it doesn't have the Thinking it's that trailer, then it's got to be something else that's doing this. Betting it's the. Oh, I got a whole bunch of rented stuff. Rear, yep, boosted rear. Third. Extensions. Okay, yeah, that must be it. This will be the first time that I'm using this guy, so I've had him for a while. Yeah, that's that'll work. That'll work, I think. two mods this link belt and this John Deere are both leased and so isn't the uh, the skyline over there the yarder so I need to figure out how or where the uh, selling point is and from there I can actually return the lease but I don't know I don't know where it is yet so I've got to figure that out first don't think that is going to be enough room, but we will try to sneak it on. Really hope this loader's alright. Function check. Ooh, she's got a little, ooh, quite a bit of desync in the head, but it'll, it'll have some testing first. extensions on this one. <laughs> wow. Kind of crazy. There he is. How you doing, Dimebag D? I didn't even, uh, I didn't get to mention you. You said have a good one or something like that right before I was getting off. I wasn't able to say hey to you. Good thing I caught you this time, though. Alright, so we're going to have to lay it down the other way. No, nope, I don't think she's going to lay down.
Yeah, it gets to that point there and it doesn't want to lay down. Okay, well, what about doing this? Nope, that ain't gonna work neither. Hmm. This is gonna be a funky one. If it'll freaking, if it'll talk here. the battle is making it look halfway decent when you're freaking traveling with it. Hmm. We may be going right back with Johnny's trailer to be honest. I don't think these are wide enough. Kind of sucks. Pretty sure instead of wasting everybody else's time with this, change up the trailers. Apologize, guys. Come on. both the same okay well I'm pretty much done with these they're not junk or nothing but kind of at a loss here I don't know where plus they're the pace setter and I don't know. well they gotta be Self. Okay. Could have swore it was the. Uh... I don't. I'm just not a big fan of the. Uh... Oh, now I'm confused. Okay, now I'm now I'm seeing a little bit here. <laughs> oh, we've got some. We've got some trailers then. Okay, so now I can see the confusion. That's the reason why I don't like. that question earlier about people coming in with uh, getting the mods and everything it's just such a pain in the butt even for me to 
I think this is it. Even for me to uh, figure them out, let alone having somebody else that's new. Try to get them all situated. This one, yes, this one's long enough. Now, did I just push myself off? I did. Dirty dog. If it ain't one, it's 12 problems here. <laughs> Trailer's moving. No, stop moving. Stop moving. And once I hook it onto the truck, it's good. Might have to do things the, uh, the cheating way here in a minute. This freaking head. This is the one I remember now. I pulled them out of my mod folder by accident thinking that it was the other one. But I've still got Rambos in here and I just don't know the difference between the two. But one I use and the other one I don't. I believe Sirius gave me the original which was paintable. Um, and the problem I had with it was the, uh, the tongue on it or the, the actual piece that connects to your fifth wheel um, would float around. Really? Another nudge? No? Tell me that's going to be glitching. Okay. Maybe it wasn't this trailer, and it was, I, I don't know. This is this is what sucks about it, and the problem is, is that one guy will fix one thing, and the next guy will fix it next, but they're the same name in your mods folder, so. Uh. Well, you called it, man. You called it. Granted, I think a lot of it had to do with the tolerance that I've got right there, but either way, at least I know that it's locked. <laughs> it's locked, and I think the other thing is see that boom arm's going right into that third set of axles. There's a lot of things, to be honest, but either way, we're rolling now. I'm trying to get a stupid thing off. Oh, that little notification is bedtime. But we'll uh, we'll bend it a little bit here. That way we can get this back and see what see what the machine does here.
pretty combo, that's for sure. Little ATS. Even stutters with like ATS once you load a different part of the map. How much you guys want to bet that it does the same exact thing as soon as I detach it? Will it make it up the hill? Come on. Bought this sucker with a little bit of extra ponies under the hood, man. A little bit. <laughs> 50 biddies, huh? Doing an awful lot of that freaking bucking around right now, though. Off the road a little bit there. Well, it didn't, but you could definitely see that it was stuck underneath that escort, or the, uh, you could definitely see that it was stuck underneath it, because it didn't want to get out of there, so, it surprised me. Uh oh Got a joystick in his leg. Ha-ha! Um, hey, I've got the game for PC. I want to figure out how to down, dude. It is simple, man. If I can do it, anybody can do it. I'll tell you that much. Yes. 
sees. I can already, uh, it's just, man, oh man, it's like home. Just like home. Like home on it with tracks, I tell you that. Got to use this button placement, though. I will tell you, it's still screwing on me. Feels like one of uh, FDR's old grapples. Working. But uh, I don't know if I like it or not. I'm getting a bunch of notifications here off of YouTube, so maybe we'll have some comments to read from there. Where that piece went? Hold on one second. Stand by. Oh, secret nuclear escape plan. Back on the new topic for YouTube. Um, James Lucas. Oops. James Lucas, thanks for the great mod review. I did not mean to do a mod review, buddy. Ooh. Wait, right, let's not do that right now. Apologize. Thank you for the great mod review, brother. I really wasn't trying to do a mod review for you. But uh, you're very welcome. I'm glad. Glad you enjoyed it. But like I said, I was just more or less trying to let the public know what uh, what I thought of it, where to get it, and uh, how to find them. You know, great mods are they're definitely out there. It's just a matter of waiting and uh, you know, being. proactive about it however you got to do it you, you don't want to go around and keep spamming you know is this mod or is this pod private because it's just it's so easy to say yes rather make the good comments compliment the modder for the great work that he's doing perhaps you know it's just like uh, it's just like with the YouTube you know crappy comment gets you no reply Good comment makes the uh, makes the creator feel like he is not really, well, I guess, accomplishing something. It, it just it feels nice to get a good compliment every now and then. So remember that when you're looking at these Facebook links and these guys, you know, say are making some, and it may look like crap at the beginning but you know look at uh, look at FDR stuff and how far it's come uh, for instance and he'll be the first one to tell you that his some of his old stuff just wasn't uh, wasn't up to spec but it, it functioned and it worked good for him so and not to mention a whole lot of these beautiful freaking models 
are based off of FDR stuff, but FDR stuff works. And a whole lot of these beautiful things that you guys see, don't. So, that's the other thing to uh, remember. You know, I, I know a lot of you guys don't care for Escape from Tarkov and whatnot, but... Uh, Just a good for instance, and even life in general, I I am big into AR-15s. I love love guns. Um, shoot them, I want to say daily, but not exactly daily at a lot of times. Um, but then again, some weeks I do. Um, build them, I buy them, I I do everything, I customize them comes a part where you make something so beautiful um, you just don't use it but yeah, a lot of these beautiful mods out there I'm gonna say a rough estimate about 6 out of 10 maybe maybe even more 7 out of 10 are absolutely beautiful but they actually don't function at all they just they're they're beautiful to look at so keep that in mind you know it's just like this uh, this loader that I'm using right now the thing functionally it's working all right it's but there's a lot nicer ones out there but they may not look very good so I'm not uh, not dogging the modder by any means it is a work in progress and he's been working his butt off on it um, but you know a lot of these things are uh, it's not turnkey stuff it's really critical thinking stuff so a lot of people will do the uh, make it beautiful and then make it work but they've then realized that uh, the beauty that they've been chasing the whole time doesn't actually function so just a lot uh, lot to it and that's kind of where I was going with the AR kick you know I, I just made a beautiful beautiful AR um, I just made a beautiful rifle the other day uh, out of parts that I had off my 65 Grindle um, one of my 223s or 223 uh, three of my other ones um, Come on, come on. And I took all the uh, all the, the nice, you know, the Geisley rail and this, that, and the other thing, and my my EOTech, um, and I put it all on that gun. And that gun before was one that I would, you know, bring with me in my vehicle. I would bring it with me in my side by side, all that stuff. Now it's going to be more of a more of a safe queen than anything because it's it's got all the expensive freaking this that and the other thing on it now it still functions very well but um, not as well as it could if I didn't have all the uh, zippity doodads on it you know what I mean it's all that crap equals weight well in this game all that beauty you know it, like this head for instance You know this this machine looks really nice that head desync doesn't look very nice yeah it's just I don't know I've never been very good at explaining stuff but uh, I'm pretty sure y'all get what I'm saying biggest thing is watch free download from me man um, Do I owe you 50 bitties? <laughs> hey, make a make a Twitch account, buddy. I'll give you them 50 bitties.
So it's not standard config on controls. No. Stupid as it may sound, man, a lot of modders do their own controls. Um, for the most part, for the most part, they use the same um, layout. Well, not, uh, I, I don't. I don't. It's it's really stupid. Really, really stupid. To be very honest with you, very stupid how how many different ways people do things. And I'm gonna. I'll I'll give you a great example. And I'm not picking on these individuals by any means. They're a good bunch of guys that I've been uh, really lucky to uh, become a part of. But uh, it's actually a great example because I've got them both right here. And I do plan on uh, working side by side with these guys very soon. Hopefully we'll be getting a uh, multiplayer season going along uh, with Rambo, Zombie Dogs... All the other fellas, they've been uh, talking to me about getting back into it. Cool. So we'll place that there. That way, hopefully... Oh, cool. I could have moved it with a freaking... Never knew that. All right, cool. I'm going to shut you down. Let me give you guys a quick example here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll post this to YouTube just because it's information and it's blogging related. But it's kind of been an all over the place. And this is why I like streams because you guys can ask questions and I can kind of sort of give you answers. All right. So I did a little tiny, tiny review on this this morning. Okay, so we got boom up, that would be my right joystick, boom down, right joystick, okay, left, right, just the way I use the excavators at work, in, out on the left joystick, and left, right on the uh, left joystick, okay, left, right, uh, keypad, okay, and if you guys can see the claws, in, out, right keypad, or right uh, buttons on the controller then I've got the on for the head see it's shut off now the trigger on the right uh, joystick okay okay now something that'll blow your mind okay this is a this is a tiger cat buncher okay everybody's familiar with it beautiful little machine really like it Okay, now, let's go over here, okay, a John Deere Buncher is our name on the side of it, okay, now this one doesn't have the auto, auto tilt cab on it and everything else, uh, or yeah, it, actually, no, it doesn't have the auto tilt cab on it. It has a manual tilt cab on it. Okay. This one, right joystick. Goes up. And goes down. Pulling left on the right stick. Right on the right stick. Okay, nothing. Left stick. In, out. Right, left. Okay, you see that I'm missing the... Uh, I'm missing the, well, I've got the turn function like it should be. I've got the open and close. Okay, now I don't have um, the head. I can't actually curl it. But I can if I push down on the main boom. You see how it's curling down into the ground? Up. Curls it up, up, up. So they, they completely change the controls. On that one function, be on the same binding as the up and down. So that that's kind of the you know. It, I don't understand why we're not on the same page, but you know it happens with everybody. You know who 
who's to say that they they made this mod right from the ground up maybe somebody else did and they used parts of it so i don't know either way you'd think that when a modder would get something he would test it out and uh you know see what need fixing but apparently um the guy that was using it maybe he had the uh controls this way and the other guy had the controls for the it, it's just that's the confusing part it's by the same people but the controls on this guy are screwed up for me but the controls on the other one aren't so either way like i said beautiful stuff love these guys um it's just fit and finish stuff and a lot of this stuff is out uh is out on alpha and beta testing i'm not positive where this one's at to be very honest with you um i just got this guy the other day when we were testing out the actual uh log loader that I was just in all right and while we're here I'll show you guys this guy to this thing huh pretty freaking nutty you can set your weight weight is set one of these keys does right there goes for like 75 ton or something like that or 75,000 I, I don't even know 75,000 pounds got your uh, your main drag line Cables, you got your anchors. Your lights in your car. Holding it. Sky car. Done one stick and the other one does the actual uh, the carriage. Which it, it's just freaking that's cool really cool and you actually fall out of the uh, sky car the problem is then you got to run up the hill get back in here so it's nice to have a chaser there it is so very 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 beautiful mod and this is by the uh, same fellas that had just released this guy 909 M so, like I said, I'm going to be uh, posting their Discord, Discord, their Facebook page on tomorrow's video in the uh, description box. So, go check them out, guys. Let them know that Rubber Side Down sent you, if you would. Um, ooh, look at hydraulic lines. You don't see that all the time, that's for sure. That is cool. if they follow the, the hydraulic lines going to the uh, boom cylinders let's go inside the boom hmm pretty cool all right well I'm gonna end it there guys got to go to bed get up for work in the morning so thank you all for watching once again. Sorry it wasn't really too much of anything, but just information once again. But we'll get on to the uh, login very soon. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you next time, and God bless.